there's a lot of talk about artificial intelligence these days. How do you define or what does AI mean for you? There is a lot of talk and there's a lot of definitions for what artificial intelligence is. So one of them is, is about teaching the machines to uh, learn and uh, act and, uh, and think as humans would. Another one, uh, another dimension is, is really about how do we get the machines to, uh, how do we impart more of a cognitive capabilities on the machines and sensory capabilities? So it's about uh, analyzing uh, images and, and, vi and videos. Uh, it's about national language processing and understanding speech. It's, uh, you know, it's about pattern recognition and so on and, and, and so forth. So, uh, the third uh, axis uh, is, is uh, you know, more around uh, creating a technology that's able to, in some cases, replace what humans do. Uh, I'd like to think of this augmented what humans do. To me personally, the most important part of definition for artificial intelligence is about imparting the ability to think and learn on the machines. To me, that's what defines artificial intelligence. AI is the, the application of computing um, to solve problems in uh, an intelligent way using uh, algorithms. Um, and so what is an intelligent way? Well, um, an intelligent way may be something that mimics human intelligence, or it may be um, a purely computational approach, an optimization approach, but um, something that, do, that manipulates data in a way to get um, non-obvious results out, I think is what I would classify as being artificially intelligent. I would define AI as a tool that uses a computer to complete a task automatically with very little to no human intervention. To me, AI is really a, a complex series of layers of, of algorithms that do something with the information that's coming into it. Artificial intelligence is a set of technologies that allows us to extract knowledge from data. So it's any kind of system that learns or um, understands patterns within that data and can identify them and then reproduce them on new information. So artificial intelligence is not the kind of simulating human intelligence that people think it is. It's really not about intelligence at all. But I think another word that describes AI more accurately today is machine learning. And the reason I say that is because machine learning technology is all about using essentially mathematics on computers in order to find patterns in data. Now this data can be structured or unstructured and the only difference between machine learning and the technologies that came before it is instead of us as humans having to manually hard code these patterns and these, uh, and these conditions into computers, they're able to find these patterns on their own by using math. That's really the only difference here. So what I'd say artificial intelligence is, is it's a set of mathematical algorithms that enable us to have computers find very deep and patterns that we may not have even known exist without us having to hard code them in. Tell me, um, welcome, and um, tell us how old are you? I'm 15 years old. Great. And how did you get started in technology and AI? Sure. So I've been working with technology for over 10 years now. Uh, it all started back when I was around five years old because my dad used to work as a computer programmer. And watching him program almost all day was so fascinating to me that I really wanted to find out more. I wanted to find out how computers could do really anything that they did, whether that be displaying my name on the screen or adding two numbers or really anything of that sort. It was like magic to me at that age. Um, and so my dad introduced me to the world of programming and I had been working with code. I submitted my first iOS application and, and more. But when I was around 10 years old, I, I started to feel like technology wasn't as fun as it used to be for me. You know, technology wasn't as exciting as it used to be for one simple reason. It's because technology was very rigid. You code something in and it immediately starts to become obsolete. It never adapts. It never changes to new data, new users, new circumstances they create. But when I was 11 years old, I actually stumbled upon a documentary on IBM Watson playing and winning the Jeopardy game show back in 2011. And so, of course, that 
immediately fascinated me as to how a computer can play Jeopardy. And so uh, I went ahead, did a little bit more research, found out that IBM provides Watson's individual components as APIs on the cloud. Uh, I did a little bit more research, started to create my very first sort of cognitive applications. And I also created tutorials on my YouTube channel on how others can also leverage the IBM Watson uh, APIs. And so really ever since I was 11 years old, I've been working with machine learning technology through numerous different services like IBM Watson. That's awesome. So what does AI mean for you? Now really what AI means to me, before I get to that, before I can explain what AI is to me, I think it's first important to understand really what others like to think of AI as. Now, a lot of people have this very sort of split, this sort of very, very sort of bipolar response to machine learning or AI, as people call it. Um, some people are like, yes, this is the greatest technology of all time. And some people are like, this will be the downfall of humanity. And I'd say that neither of those responses would be correct. And the reason I say that is because machine Machine learning technology is technology. It's very advanced technology. It helps us do things that we never could have done before, but it's just that. It's technology. And artificial intelligence and machine learning is something that people have been working on mathematically since even before computers were a thing. This is machine learning technology is not new at all. In fact, it's been, it's, it's existed, the very fundamentals at least, for many decades before I was even born. But the thing is, Machine learning technology, or at least, for example, the basic perceptron and these sorts of uh, mathematical techniques have existed since even before computers or calculators became popular. And so when we were creating these sorts of machine learning concepts and AI, and we started to create literature and movies on the future of technology and computers, we barely had any idea of not only where technology would go in the future, but also what technology really is. And because of that, people have this very common misconception of artificial intelligence being the human mind within a computer, the human intelligence simulated wholly within a computer, but that couldn't be farther from the truth. Machine learning or AI is not simulating a human mind, but what it does try and do is it tries to open up new doors for computers. It tries to enable computers to understand certain kinds of data that they couldn't have understood before. So like for example, if you take a look at what we as humans are so special at, the fact that we can understand natural language, in fact we're one of the, we are the only animal to have have such a complex ability of being able to communicate in natural language. Even if there's something that I have not directly witnessed or seen or heard evidence for, I can still describe that imaginative concept to you. That is actually really wonderful. And we're also great at understanding at raw auditory data. Uh, I mean, imagine your brain is actually taking vibrations of air molecules and converting that to thoughts. That's really amazing. And you're also great at processing visual data. Like when you look at someone's face, the fact that you can instantly recognize them. When you look at someone's eyes, you can tell exactly where they're looking. That's really an amazing ability. And these are things that computers cannot do because they are fundamentally limited to mathematics. They can only understand numbers and mathematical operations. But by using machine learning technology, you can actually take these mathematics and use them to understand patterns in vast amounts of both structured and unstructured human data. The only difference here is that before, we as humans would manually construct these patterns and these conditions, whereas now it's done automatically for us, at least mostly automatically, by techniques like gradient descent and calculus. So machine learning technology is a more accurate term for what AI really is today and will be in the future. And of course, artificial intelligence isn't meant to replace us because on a fundamental level, it is a completely different thing than a human brain. Welcome to Generative AI Overview and Use Cases. After watching this video, you'll be able to define Generative AI and describe its significance, and explain different use cases of Generative AI. Artificial Intelligence AI is defined as augmented intelligence that enables experts to scale their capabilities while machines handle time-consuming tasks like recognizing speech, playing games, and making decisions. On the other hand, 
Generative Artificial Intelligence, or Gen AI, is an AI technique capable of creating new and unique data, ranging from images and music to text and entire virtual worlds. Unlike conventional AI models that rely on predefined rules and patterns, generative AI models use deep learning techniques and rely on vast data sets to generate entirely new data with various applications. A generative AI model can also use LLM, large language model, a type of artificial intelligence based on deep learning techniques designed to process and generate natural language. For instance, generative AI can develop new and more powerful LLM algorithms and architectures, resulting in more accurate or efficient natural language processing and generation capabilities. Alternatively, a generative AI can design and incorporate LLM into a larger, more advanced AI system to perform various advanced tasks such as decision-making, problem-solving, and creative work. Generative AI encompasses various AI technologies and the idea of developing AI systems. Although more about generative AI will soon unfold, the following benefits already make generative AI a strategic technology. 1. Creativity and innovation. 2. Cost and time savings. 3. Personalization. 4. Scalability. 5. Robustness. and 6. Exploration of new possibilities. Let's look at some diverse use cases of generative AI. 1. In the field of healthcare and precision medicine, generative AI can support physicians in identifying genetic mutations responsible for patients' illnesses and providing tailored treatments. It can also produce medical images, simulate surgeries, and predict new drug properties to aid doctors in practicing procedures and developing treatments. Two. In agriculture, generative AI can optimize crop yields and create more robust plant varieties that can withstand environmental stressors, pests, and diseases. 3. In biotechnology, generative AI can aid in the development of new therapies and drugs by identifying potential drug targets, simulating drug interactions, and forecasting drug efficacy. 4. In forensics, Generative AI can help solve crimes by analyzing DNA evidence and identifying suspects. 5. In environmental conservation, generative AI can support the protection of endangered species by analyzing their genetic data and suggesting breeding and conservation strategies. 6. In creative fields, generative AI can produce unique digital art, music, and video content for advertising and marketing campaigns, and generate soundtracks for films or video games. 7. In gaming, generative AI can create interactive game worlds by generating new levels, characters, and objects that adapt to player behavior. 8. In fashion, Generative AI can design and produce virtual try-on experiences for customers and recommend personalized fashion choices based on customer behavior and preferences. 9. In robotics, generative AI can design new robot movements and adapt them to changing environments, enabling them to perform complex tasks. 10. In education, Generative AI can create customized learning materials and interactive learning environments that adjust to students' learning styles and paces. 11. In data augmentation, generative AI can produce new training data for machine learning models, enhancing their accuracy and performance. In this video, you learned that generative AI is an AI technique capable of creating new and unique data. It outperforms traditional AI models in terms of creativity, cost and time savings, personalization, scalability, robustness, and exploration of new possibilities. Generative AI has the potential to transform various industries and improve people's lives and generate newer and impossible data and experiences. It can be used for anything to perform a wide range of tasks similar to the flexibility and adaptability of human intelligence.